attention please this is public announcement and i'm telling you you are a serious headache you are a serious heartache to them you are eating them up taking their life gradually like cancer stay tuned and watch this video Chosen ones, where you are, where you are, where you are, where you are. Chosen people back with another powerful and productive video. Yes, let's quickly do our smiling exercise and then we proceed with the video. Yes, chosen one, make it a point to keep on filling your cheeks with some air. I'm telling you, it makes you beautiful. You are beautiful, so yes, yes, chosen one. You read the title of this video. Oh yes, this is public announcement. You are their serious headache, heartache. In fact, you are taking their life slowly. Oh yes, you are eating them up gradually. Yes, little by little, you are eating them up like cancer cell. I'm telling you, chosen one. And you know what is making this happen? It is all because of your success. Oh, yes. They are watching you. Yes, they block you. Yet, they are watching you. They unfollow you. Followed you. Yes, they are watching you. You know, they know your name. So, they will use your name to search for you. And they keep on watching you, spying on you from time to time. And glory be to God, who God has blessed, no man can curse. So anytime they come up to check up how you doing, how you growing, are you miserable as they wish, as they want it to be? Are you desperate and needy, a beggar as they want you to be? Anytime they check up on you, God being so good because you are growing in the knowledge of God, in the wisdom of God, in the understanding of God, and in the anointing of God, you never ever fall, but you keep rising up. You keep growing. And anytime they realize that there is growth, you are increasing. Where they've left you, you've not declined. You've not fall, but rather you are rising. I'm telling you. Then their head start to ache them. Then their heart start to ache them. Their heart starts to raise very fast like never before. Oh yes. All because they have the intention that if they are not in your life, then you should not grow. If they are not in your life, you should not rise. If they are not in your life, you should not be successful. So that they will get something to stand on and say, it is because they are not in your life. That is the reason why you're not making it. Yes, they said it. They said it that they are irreplaceable. They said it that, yes, they are the one that is helping you. They said it that they are the stars in your life. They are the lucky one that you are feeding on them to rise up. Oh, yes. But anytime they check up, this notion, you keep on defeating this notion in their head. So they realize that, no, you cannot be brought down. You cannot be pinned down. There is an anointing of greatness, of success, of victory that is upon your life. Oh, yes, Joseph, I'm telling you. So they keep on checking up on you they are watching you 24 7 as the clock is ticking tick tock tick tock they are watching so chosen one always know that they are watching you like television so always make sure your lifestyle make sure what you are doing make sure whatever you engage in is something that is purposeful. It is something that will improve you, that will advance you, that will uplift you, that will help you become a better version of yourself. So that all the time, when they check up on you, they will find something on their TV screen. 
to keep watching. Oh yes, you got to keep them busy. You got to keep their, I mean, hearts to keep on aching, their head to keep on aching them. You have to keep on eating them up because their wish is that you should fail. They are waiting for you to fail. Yes. So, I'm telling you, keep on rising so high. Keep on lifting yourself up, no matter what happens in your life. Remember, there are certain people in your life that are watching you, and their wish and sole assignment is to make you fail. Yes, you failing in life, in life will make them happy. You failing will make them very content. You failing will give them the joy that they want because they delight in your downfall. So for this reason, never ever fail. Never ever. Yes, even if you fall, get back on your feet and rise again. I'm telling you, as they left your life, they pulled away from you, okay? As they left you, they're thinking that, oh, yes, you're going to be static. You're going to be um, stagnant. Yes, there will be no growth for you. But that is not the case. They are not God. Your success in life, your greatness in life, is not tied to their negative emotions of envy, of jealousy, of hate towards you. Oh, yes. It is what God says concerning your life. That is what is coming to pass in your life. Oh, yes. So keep them wondering. Keep them, I mean, checking. Keep them watching all the time. Make sure there is a program. There is a show for them to keep on watching all the time. In fact, when they were even in your life, you were not growing. You were rather static. I'm telling you, there are people like that. The moment they start to block you, the moment they unfollow you, the moment they ignore you, the moment they pull away from your life, the moment they leave your life, that is when your breakthrough is going to come. That is when you are going to shine. I'm telling you, reflect on your life and you will see that the moment they left your life, that was the, the time you start to reason very well. That was the time you start to draw more closer to God. That was the time you start to build a very loving relationship with your creator. That was the time you start to dream big. That was the time you start to have that positive mindset. That was the time you start finding ways and means to hit the gym, to, to start making passive income, to, to, to not, I mean, just dwell on one source of income. And that has helped you to improve in this life as they've left you. So they live in you is rather a blessing. It was a blessing, I'm telling you. And life is oftentimes like that. There are people that when they are in your life, you're not going to grow. But the moment they leave your life, the breakthrough is going to happen. I'm telling you. And sometimes it's not because they are bad people, but it's because their energy, their star is not enough for you to help you rise. Their lack is not enough for you to push you. Oh, yes. That's it. A typical example is in, in that movie, Acrimony. I don't know if You've watched that movie, Acrimony. It was produced by Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. It was a beautiful movie. I love that movie. In fact, I seriously like that movie. I watch that movie. Anytime I get it, I will watch it again. Because that movie says a lot. I'm telling you. Right? There was this lady who was with a man. And this lady was taking care of the man because the man's job was epileptic. You know? The man is into this technology kind of stuff and, you know, things were not moving, you know, um, and it came to a time the lady, he was weighed, became so tired of him, become very frustrated. All right. But the man has a big dream. The man say, if he make it in life, he's going to treat the, the, the woman, the wife as a queen, going to take her on tours 
take her to places. They're going to travel. They're going to cruise, right? They're going to be on the yacht and, you know, have fun. But that opportunity never comes. So it gets to a time the lady wasn't patient enough. It's not that the lady was a bad lady. The lady was a good person. She did her best all right. But as I said, there are people that when they are in your life, their growth will not come. The breakthrough will not come. But the moment they leave your life, the turnaround will come. The breakthrough will come. That's it. Because there are stars aren't enough for you to elevate. So the moment the lady left, was frustrated, was tired of the man and lives the man's life. And the man has this new girlfriend who was helping him, inspiring him. Boom! That technology he was into, I mean, was accepted. He was able to improve upon it and it became something very concrete, something great. And it was accepted by a company and that brought the breakthrough of the man. And this man started to take the new lady on the vacations, on the yards, cruising, chilling here and there. And the other lady became very jealous, envious, yes, and even to the, to the edge of taking the life of the two of them. Yes. Yes, Josuma. That is how life sometimes is. That is why sometimes in life you need to let people go if they want to go. Don't force them to stay because you forcing them to stay in your life. They are only delaying your progress. They are delaying your breakthrough because their stars are not enough for you to elevate. Their stars are not enough for you to fly. Yes. And the moment they leave your life, God will bring somebody better, way better. Somebody with good energy, with great stars, with many stars that will help you to shine. I'm telling you. And that is exactly what has happened. You are growing as they live your life. You are advancing and they keep checking up on you. And anytime they do that, their heart aches. They get headache. In fact, you are a serious headache and heartache to them because they don't want to see you successful. All they do is to hate on you. So keep on shining and always remember that there are people waiting for you to fail in this life. So tell yourself, because of my enemies and haters and critics, I'm going to find ways and means to do it even more better, to rise, to advance, to uplift myself, to become a better version of myself. Yes, so that what scripture says, that in the presence of my enemies, a table will be set before me. That word of God will happen in your life. Don't give up on yourself. If you are watching me, if people pull away from you, if people left your life, if people ignore you, if people abandon you, if people reject you, don't be mad. Just keep focusing on yourself. And I tell you, they living your life is a blessing in these guys. Opportunity is going to come out of it. Just keep doing what you're doing and don't watch anybody. Keep using your hands and keep using your mind and keep pushing and keep putting God first in whatever you do. Keep going the extra mile. You are definitely and certainly going to succeed. The reason why you must not quit is that you don't know the day that God is going to bless you. So each and every day you must show up. Yes, each and every day you must show up. Just like I keep showing up because I don't know the day a video of mine is going to go viral. I don't know the day. So since I don't know my day of lack, every day I have to keep showing up. I have to be consistent. That's it. Same way, whatever you're doing as a chosen one, each and every day, keep showing up. Keep being consistent with what you're doing. One day, one day is going to be your day. I'm telling you. And that will bring the change that you keep waiting for for so long. Yes, and that will put joy, smile 
on your face and you will be able to put your family together again and be a lovely wife, a lovely husband, a lovely family member, whatever. I'm telling you, right? So keep doing you all the time. Never quit, right? Never, ever quit. It's going to be well with you. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.